okay. Hey, what is up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to add songs into Beat Saber without actually needing to mod the game. Now, if you wanna mod the game for like custom sabers, custom walls, all the little mods like that, I do have a video out already showing you exactly how to do that, which I will post right up there. Otherwise, at the end of this video too, I'm gonna to kind of re-go through how to mod it, but on the different program that I'll be using today. So today I'm just showing you how to actually sit on your desktop and load songs into Beat Saber without actually having to put the mods tab into the game and sit inside of the VR and download songs that way. And there are actually two main reasons I'm making this video. A is it's just kind of nice to sit on your desktop and add songs versus standing or sitting in VR to download these songs that you want. And then reason number two actually is mods don't always work. So as the game updates, the mods are technically on the old game software. So they will basically just not work at all anymore. And you do have to remod Beat Saber, but you do have to wait until those mods are up to date for the newer version. So this way I'm showing you today still works to get custom songs onto Beat Saber while those mods no longer work, which I've actually ran into a lot in the past. So it's really nice to know both ways to do it for when you still wanna add custom songs to Beat Saber. Anyways, before I waste too much time, let's jump right over to the tutorial. All right guys, so I'm gonna to try to make this as easy as possible for you. So first you're gonna to go to your web browser of your choice, and then you're gonna type in bsaber.com. Once you are on the actual website, this is where you're gonna download the program that lets you install the new songs. It's uh, gonna be under plugins here. You're gonna click mods under the plugins tab. Once you click that, you're gonna scroll down a little bit and you'll see two underlined red words, Beat Drop and Beast Saber. You're gonna click Beat Drop. That's gonna be the program we're gonna have to download to get those songs. So click on download. And then you're gonna wanna select the newest Beat Drop, which is 2.6.2 right now, but don't worry, this will work in the future with other versions of Beat Drop as well. And the purpose of using this over Mod Assistant, like in my other video, is this is gonna be how you get songs if you want to just sit on your desktop, not have to be in VR, and just pick the songs out that you want. Where on like the Mod Assistant version, you have the mods tab within the game, which isn't always working, it's currently not. And you actually have to like stand there, sit there, and like scroll through the songs, and I don't know. It can be comfortable sometimes just to sit and <laughs> pick your songs out while sitting at your computer. So I'll click on that gonna download right here and then you're gonna actually open that up now I do already have beat drop downloaded so I'm just gonna minimize this and pop that open for you so right when you open up beat drop you're gonna see the initial setup and this is where you're gonna have to actually have to choose the installation directory or the file path and I will pop those up on the screen right now for both steam and oculus to make it really easy for you guys and then I'm actually gonna walk you through getting to oculus since I own beat saber on oculus I'm gonna choose folder. Oculus is gonna be under Windows C, program files, not the times 86, so regular program files. Scroll down, you'll see Oculus, double click it. Then you're gonna see software, double click that. Double click software once again. And then right here, you're gonna see hyperbolic magnetism beat saber. That's what I'm gonna wanna click. And I will hit select folder. It's going to scan all of your files. So if you already have custom songs at all in there, it already knows that. Once you're done doing that, you're going to want to go to installation type. I'm going to choose Oculus, or if you have Steam, you choose Steam, obviously. And then the game version, mine is fully up to date. So I'm going to pick 1.8.0 and continue. Now, it's really nice. Uh, so you can actually go over to your library here. So I already have quite a few songs added. I can actually delete them if I wanted to, or just kind of look at what I have on there um, to see if I want to, like I said, get rid of any or uh, check if I already have one or not. Kind of nice to be able to see that. And I'm actually not really sure why, but sometimes when I click on the songs tab, it'll just sit and load it forever. Now, not everyone has this issue, it seems like, and I don't always have it. It does work a lot of the time. Um, so if this ever happens, I, can still go down to search right here. Now, once you're in the search tab, you can search any artist you want to. Now, not all artists have been made into Beat Saber songs, but let's do 
Marshmallow, he's popular with the kids, right? And once you search that up, it will pop up every Marshmallow option on Beat Saber that there is, and then you can just select it and download it that way. Um, so yeah, if you are running into that weird issue where the songs are not loading, just get a nice list of artists together that you like, and you can just search specific ones, and then load them into the game that way. And once you actually do that, so let's say let's do uh, Alone by Marshmallow. All you have to hit is download and it should use that file path that we set up earlier to automatically put the song into the game and it even shows you what difficulty settings. So this one's only made for expert. So that gives you an idea if you're gonna be able to play it or not. And then if you wanna hear the song, you can listen to the preview of it right here, which actually just looks like it's the full song. Um, so it's it's not an ideal workaround, but I don't know why it does this. Um, it is it is pretty annoying, but either way, if you know what artist that you are looking for, you can still search it down here and they will still pop up. And then if you guys didn't watch my other video showing you guys how to use Mod Assistant to get mods into the game, such as like custom sabers, custom walls, custom platforms, all that stuff, uh, you could definitely go check that out. Um, now, if you don't want to have to have two separate programs, so Beat Drop and Mod Assistant, I totally get that. Uh, there is a Mods tab on here as well. I just have personally had more luck with Mod Assistant in the past, but you definitely can use Beat Drop for this. So you can go to the Mods tab here, and then if you scroll down, you'll see all these different mods that there are. So you kind of just go through picking what ones you want. Um, so I already have custom sabers selected. You do custom notes, custom campaigns. Really anything on the list should work because it does look like they all, all are up to the 1.8.0 Beat Saber version. So you can click score saber, really anything. And then you're gonna come down to downloads in the bottom left here. That's gonna show you all the ones that you downloaded to make sure that they actually applied to the game. And then you can go back here later on down the road and it will even show if there are updates for the specific mods otherwise you can just go back to the mods tab and keep reselecting different mods as the game continues to update and then all you have to do is jump over to beat saber and i'll show you where the custom songs are in a second once you're actually in the main menu all you're gonna have to do to find your custom songs that you added is go to solo then on the bottom right, you're gonna see custom levels. Click right on that. That's gonna show you every song that you added using Beat Drop. If you did mod Beat Saber using Beat Drop, this mods tab here is where you're gonna see all of your custom sabers, walls, notes, anything that you really added, they're gonna appear there. But just be aware they, they may disappear down the road when the game updates. Anyways, that is gonna do it for my video today. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Also, make sure to go check out our social media, which is always linked in our descriptions down below. And then we are about to hit 500 subs, which we really appreciate. And we are doing a 500 sub giveaway, and we are announcing that this Friday. So make sure to come back, check that out. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but we usually do some pretty decent giveaways. So make sure to come back on Friday to check out our video and find out how you can enter to win our giveaway. And as usual, if you wanna see anything from tech games, movies, to anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Peace.